Hi, this is Elliot Fishman, and welcome to our latest vodcast. Today is Thursday, and sorry we started a little bit late, but I had this really good conversation with one of the people who will be our speaker on October 2nd, so it's very exciting, but I won't give the name right now. So this week I promised you to we'd have a great topic, which is the JACO visit, the Joint, Joint Commission. Commission. And every one of you knows that every two years or so your hospital is uh, – evaluated by the Joint Commissions. Their goal is quality and patient safety and many other things. And all of you know that everyone is really scared of them. They're not mean people by any means, but they're very specific. And the good thing about, I always think about the good thing about JCO is that hospitals put a lot of effort into getting prepared for them. And you know all the questions where the fire extinguisher is, all of these safety issues. Um, so it's really not a radiology thing. The radiology is evaluated. It's every piece of the hospital, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And so B much B's, like, B's been here before, and B's our chief tech and CT, and B's had a lot of experience dealing with the Joint Commission. Yeah. And I thought I would ask her to tell us a little bit about how we prepare for it, mm -hmm. which is a good thing. Yeah. And what is it they do when they get here? And we just had our thing about a month ago or so. Yep, in April. And so just by a show of hands, how many of you have had a JCO visit in the last year? You can answer on the side or raise your hand. So I'm looking a number of people have had, they're waving that they have. So that's good. Uh, and if you haven't, it's coming soon. And you know, uh, it's the days when the radiologists try to hide so they don't ask us any questions. Uh, we kind of learn where the carts are, with things we need to know. But as I say, it's good. So just tell me a little bit yeah. about what do you do? So really what we did, um, what we do is we actually have in radiology a committee, a joint commission committee, and it entails two very dedicated uh, supervisors actually that have dedicated their time and effort to facilitating the committee. Committee is held every, as it would get closer, we hold the committee every week and every modality has a rep sent to this committee. So they go over everything, everything from what the Joint Commission is looking for in environmental, equipment, uh, policy, uh, infection control, uh, staffing, of course your you know, credentials, um, and everything related to each of the modalities. Um, and that's been extremely helpful. Rep comes back to them each modality and then we present at a staff meeting or, you know, follow up emails and they do environmental rounds. Um, I think the best thing is that your joint commission ready all the time uh, when they finally do come or finally, you know, say they're coming shortly, it's not a huge leap to get ready. Over the years, we've kind of, you know, we're living joint commission ready every day. So, I mean, I think that's a big thing. Um, for us in CT, of course, radiation, contrast media are big items, infection control, uh, staffing credentials. Uh, these are the big items for CT. Um, across the board, of course, you know, it's environmental, make sure, you know, everything's in shape. They always find the dusty places, but. So, so their focus really is on, you'd say, patient safety or the patient experience, perhaps? Yes. Patient safety is a big one. They'll come in, tell me how the patient, they follow a patient all the way through. From the time the patient arrives, goes into the CT room, what's the prep, what is the patient identification, how did you get the consent form, how did you know what protocol to use, um, how did you uh, put the IV in? It's it's from every little detail. So it's right. So it's really so. So in some ways, as you say, it's really you know if you go by the principle of being, uh, you know, joint commission ready every day, which is really what you should yes. be, right? Because you should be uh, knowing how you do the protocol and knowing yeah. how you do the IV and all the little things which sometimes we take yeah. for granted, but we all know that mistakes happen. And usually mistakes happen when people take too much for granted or yeah. just assume the wrong thing. Um, what, what things have you learned? I mean, where, where's been, like, for example, when you get down to CT, when they say, do they ask you for your protocols? I mean, we, Oh, you know, yes. So, 
So for as far as protocols, they want to see, they want to know that you review your protocols annually with your the physician director, with the um, uh, the uh, physicist, our educator, and myself, the manager. Um, and that's done. And where is it? Where are your protocols? Do the uh, techs have access to the protocols? And how are they trained on the protocols? How do they know what protocol to use when patient comes in? These are things they want to know. And things like safety, you know, crash car and stuff like that. Oh, they... yeah. Crash carts, all the safety, fire safety, infection control, um, every little detail. Your cavi wipes, what is the time that you need it to dry? You know, these are all little things that they need to know. Um, and the thing is, I mean, there's a lot of information. So in each area, we do have a board, an information board that the techs can go and resource, go to, a, you know, it's a resource for them. They're not going to know every little thing. So they can say, and then I think that's the most important thing is getting your techs ready to talk to the Joint Commission uh, surveyors when they come in, you know, get them used to being it these questions so they're not all nervous and so forth and they want to talk to the frontline people they'll ask for the manager or the supervisor to come but they want to talk to the frontline people right so you really can't hide everybody in the right lines. the um and with the protocols i remember a couple of years ago one of the big things was it wasn't like we have ctss we have protocols online yes. which one could argue is the most efficient thing in the world it's always there easy to update but they wanted a book, literally a loose leaf book, next to the scanner. Yeah. Same so they now. wanted, they actually, uh, they wanted it in several different places. Okay, it's online, but what, what would happen if something happened to your online, right. you know, networking? We have a binder, has all the protocols in it. And then, of course, your scanners are all programmed. Right. Yeah. So we have three areas, and that's, you know, they... They like that there's uh, multiple resources. And, for and do, they go into, do they go into radiation dose at all? Yes. They talk about radiation dose a lot. They want to know that your techs are well trained. How are they trained? How are you keeping up their training? Um, and um, and they well, it's important if you talk about image gently, image wisely. That's actually in their joint commission survey uh, letters and so forth. So. You, we actually take some articles from uh, Image Wisely and Image Gently. That's a wise thing to do. Yep, and send them out to the text quarterly with a little quiz. So we have that in their folders. Um, we do, of course, send them to your meetings. The uh, CTSS is a great resource at Dr. Mahesh. Um, they want to hear all that. Right, Mahesh is a physicist. Do they meet with him separately in terms of? Uh, yes. Actually, we had, Image Wisely. We had a conference call. Yes, two days ago, and one of the questions was about Jayco. Was you know from a phys, from the physicist perspective, Dr. Mahesh is a physicist. What are they doing, particularly now with some of the new requirements in, in fluoro and CT? Mm -hmm. What were they asking for? Yeah, we actually. I was part of that meeting when Joint Commission came, and Dr. Um, Mahesh was there. Oh, and also physics and engineering, because they want to know that the proper maintenance is done on your scanners or any of your modalities. Uh, what is the preventive maintenance? And Dr. Um, Mahesh, of course, went over all his QA. Um, of course, we're ACR um, accredited, and um, you know, um, uh, what is the what is the daily? What is the monthly? And uh, annually, what are we doing for the scanners okay. as far as uh, image quality? Okay, and and then, then also we do an audit. Doctor, we, uh, every six months we do a radiation dose audit and we take about, uh, out of our eight scanners, about over 250 to 300 images of um, patients and we do an audit on radiation. That, that Dr. Mahesh does that. Okay, so, yeah, so I think the important, important thing is it's, um, you know, it's not just, get, and, and it, actually they tend to speak to probably the radiologist the least. Yes. Mainly because the radiologists usually yeah. are hiding. When well, they, and just this past, she said, um, you know, she, I was involved when she came, and she said, uh, she asked the tech, uh, well, where's the radiologist? Yeah. And, um, and of course, obviously, you guys were just in the next room, right. and I said, well, there's about five of them in the next right. room. So know? that's a good thing. I mean, we have, yeah. we're fortunate we do it that way, because otherwise, yeah. I'm, you may be like two blocks away, and uh, yeah. they might be concerned about that. Um, 
what, what was the most difficult, let's say this year, what what did you, you find the most difficult in terms of what they asked for or what they expected? Anything specific? No, I mean, we went through a, a whole patient uh, experience with them. Um, what they did like was that we do audits, um, image audits that t every single technologist once a month does an image audit. Uh, we give them the case and they individually will do their image audit. And what's, what's the they, image audit mean? That it, meaning that they will evaluate a case done, not their own, another case. Right. They'll look for technical factors, protocol, contrast media. Did they Was the range correct? Was the paperwork or the epic uh, portion correct. Mm -hmm. um, there's, you know, about five different pages, and they really like that because it showed that the techs are keeping up every month, looking at image images and and quality, and what it means to them that they scan properly, and kind of policing themselves in a way. So, and then from there, from that image audit, we showed them results that okay on this particular month we evaluated abdominal CTs, right, with contrast. Where Where is some areas that we need to improve on? Right. Ranges, or or is it the paper, or is it the epic work, or whatever it may be. So actually, they really like that. Okay. And so, so, so in a sense, you know, going, going back to what you said before, in many ways, the big process is really, what are you doing all the time? I mean, yes. you get a little bit, you know, and as some of you know, when you do the uh, joint commission, it's not like they're saying we're coming May 15th or October 12th. Yeah. You kind of know they're coming somewhere between like January and Right, April. and they'll give, yeah, particular times we're coming in, right. this, in this general area. Right. But so you don't so, know the so day. Then what usually happens is kind of like Paul Revere. They get here, <laughs> then people, you get a right. thousand emails, the British are here, the British right. are here, the joint commission's here, joint commission's here. Yeah, and then what we do is we have, um, uh, a checkoff list, um, just in time checkoff list. So when we hear they come, we call all the areas. They get their you know their list out. You know, are the garbage cans covered right. or this? The, <laughs> clean, the cleanest garbage cans yeah. for those few weeks. And there's no donuts in the area, no, and everybody's right. not. So, but but in saying that, okay, so we do a lot of things really special for that. Yeah. Okay. But you know that's. Again, it's kind of like hopefully it's just like polishing of the apple and yeah. getting rid of a few dust bunnies. Yeah. But over the year, when the okay, joint commission is gone, they're not coming back for two years. We're not sitting here saying, okay, guys, yeah. we're slacking off. Goodbye. Right. Good luck. Yeah. What do we do? So joint commission is gone. They loved everything we did. They yeah. were happy with the stuff you were doing. And I know you got a, a accommodation for doing some yeah. stuff, right? For the image audits. The image yeah. audits. Exactly. So now because of that, it means they'll probably ask you guys for image audits because yeah. The way Jayco usually operates is they see something they like. The best practice. Best practice. Yep. They kind of push it downstream. More work so for some more people. More work for some people. No, it's it's a. But, it's what, but what do you quality. do? What do you do? Okay, so the joint commission is gone. Yeah. We still need to maintain quality. Yeah. Until the next two year cycle comes right. around. What are we? What are we doing on? What are you doing on a monthly basis? Let's yeah. Say? So we still actually, you know, we do, always do our quality. We do our image audits. We um, still do environmental so rounds. Let me go back to the image audits since they were so pleased with that. Yeah. Just just go with a little bit more detail. Mm -hmm. I know. How do you pick the cases for the audit? Okay. Actually, uh, Dan Wetzel, our uh, educator, will go through and just pick cases, and he will every month decide each month what we're going to audit. Okay. It could be PEs, actually, or pediatrics, or, you know, we try to pick a variety each each mm -hmm. month. And then every single person, all the staff will do one case. So one PE, they will evaluate, and then another staff will evaluate a different PE. And, um, and it includes all the technical, what is, you know, mm -hmm. all the technical, and what is the protocol? Was the right protocol right. done? Sure. What was the enhancement, and or, or was the enhancement done uh, properly? What were some of the issues with it? Was there any issues? Um, and was it a high quality? The, the the last question was: Is it a high quality case? Right. Um, and uh, this, you know, it's it's uh, it's it's a way that the text can say, okay, these are things that are important. These are things that I know are critical when I do a CT. And what, what do you do? And I'm going to be judged on it. I'm going to be, you know, 
assessed on. Okay, so let's say, uh, okay, you looked at, I'm sure it never happens in, in Hopkins, but let's say you looked at a case and you said, okay, this was not done well. Right. What is it you do then? Okay, and we've had a couple of those, unfortunately, you know, where what happened. And so what we'll do is we'll take a look at it and see, you know, is there something else that we don't know about? You know, did the patient have an issue in the middle of it or whatever? Right. Well, then maybe there wasn't a note done. And so we'll do a little bit more investigation, but we are also looking at the whole big picture. Right. What is it that the, the, the staff need? Is it that they need more training in technical factors? Do they need more training in ranges, protocols? Oh, well, we do PEs. Okay, wait, we found that the PE enhancement had an issue this right. month. You know, do we need to do anything else? Pediatrics is another one. You know, not everybody's great in pediatrics, right. and you know that takes a lot of training. Is are we on top of the training when it comes to any of this? And how and how do the techs take it? So they the, take it. It's actually a very in the in the beginning, um, it was difficult. Now they're used to doing it, but they actually um, understand why they need to do okay. that. They want to be. They want to be uh, assessed. They want to make sure that their quality, their individual quality, is is uh, you know up to par and optimal. So, you know, I think it's, right. and, it's I, and, I, and it's received well by the techs. Yeah, I think that's very important because I think one of the challenges always is when you try doing quality, people become very paranoid that you know you're trying to get them or yeah. you know the, this person's out to get them or the quality thing doesn't work because people won't say anything because. If I say something about this person, right. then that person can say something about me. How do right. you get around? See, all that? that's the thing. We we don't. We're, it's not a. Uh, we're not going after individuals. We're looking at the whole picture, the improvement, the quality improvement for the whole department, and we don't go after people for you know. You don't. There's no uh, discipline involved or anything like that. We just want to make sure we're all doing well, and where can we improve? Right. So we look at the bigger picture. We do that with the protocol tool. We have tool. We have something called the protocol tool, where everybody rates themselves on every single proto protocol, and we look at the whole picture. Oh my gosh! Look, we need more training in vert colons, for example, you know, or whatever it may be. Right. So and the, I just say the quality assurance thing is always. It's not that Jacob visits. It's this it's across the board. The yes. So let's see if anyone has any questions. So first we'll go back with John Biakino is in Zayed. So okay, he's working. He's working. here. Let's see. Awala Abadula does not have a question, but she wanted me to say hi. So we're saying hi. Oh, okay. hi, hi. Good. Let's see. Uh, radio physics is quite essential. Yeah. So you know, as we said, we work, um, be mentioned, with Mahesh, who's our physicist. It's huge. So it's important to really make certain your scan your scanners are being monitored by physicists. And you know, we have questions whether it's related to a pregnant patient or mm -hmm. things like that. Mahesh is really good. And you need to have somebody who's able to deal with patients as well as deal with physicians, both with minor problems and major yeah. problems. And, and with Dr. Mahesh, he has a great relationship with the techs. He, you know, right. he, he visits them a lot, everything going okay. They can, they have a great relationship. They, he says, call them anytime. I mean, that's, really important too. I think that's right. That's critical. So look, those guys are watching from Jayhawk. Tell them to get back to work. Hey Kim, it's so get back to work. And then Lidiana. Too busy. So Lidiana ah. is in Lidiana is in Palo Alto. Yeah. So she's checking in. Yep. Hey Lidiana. Um any land any land okay we don't have any more questions any questions. These are a lot of statements, not so much questions. But any specific Well comments, I would just say um you know if you, you have to get the detail down, and once you get that, you should really just live joint commission. I mean, that's the easiest way. Um, the other thing is is patient, uh, the staff's uh, folders. Make sure they have all the credentials. Make sure the training is there, the education's there, the competencies. We do annual competencies, and they're going to look for their orientation competencies as well as their annual competencies. Right, so, and, and if you need credits, remember our CT course, yep. November 14th to 16th And they in, look for credits, In Vegas, yeah. and uh, yep. February 14th to 16th in Orlando. So it's two good places to get credits. Um, okay, well, I think that's it. I appreciate all your help, B. And uh, again, just one question is, does uh -huh. Joint Commission have a book or something where they say, here's what we're going to be looking at? I'm always meant to ask that. Is there any 
guidelines from yeah, them? Yeah, I think if you go on their website. Okay. I mean, we've taken all all their checklists. Right. So, yeah. so checklists yeah. are very good for joint commission. They yes. love checklists. Yes. Okay, well, I guess we're out of time. And I'll say to all our friends, thanks, B. Thanks. And we'll see everybody next time. Next week we'll be on time. Have a great day. <laughs>